I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of Rune to give you a sense of how it compares to other things you may have used and how it can enrich your music experience. To begin with, I'm going to do a search for a song in a streaming app. I'm going to search for Happy by Pharrell Williams. As you can see, it comes up right here and I can play the track, but that's about it. If I do the same search in Rune, I'll see the search result here, but it's gonna take me to the album on which that song appears. And what you'll see here is a bunch of additional information about that album to give me context about the thing I was searching for. I've got a description of the album here with links out to other artists mentioned in that description, some genres, you can see here I've got the, the track listing and I can see where Happy appears in those tracks. But I can also see the credits for the album. So all the performers and background musicians, as well as songwriters and producers and engineers. Looking at the track listing here, we even have credits on a track level. So I can see down to the background vocals and the horn players who exactly worked on this track. So now, in addition to playing this song, let's say I want to learn a little bit more about the artist. Here I can read a biography of Pharrell. I can link out to his socials. I can see bands that he's been a member of and other artists that he's related to here. I can see his most popular tracks and some album recommendations for me. Here we can see that because Rune has metadata for every piece of music that's in print, we can see here that Rune has noticed that Pharrell Williams and Calvin Harris have collaborated on several occasions. So that's kind of called out. We can go through and look at all the tracks that they've worked on together. In addition to these recommendations, I can also check out his full discography. So here we'll see five main albums, a variety of singles and EPs, but we can also see the seven albums that he did with Snoop Dogg and the seven with Beck and seven with Jay-Z and six with Tyler, the creator. The idea is that based on one song that I've searched for, I'm now branching out into music produced by all different kinds of artists that all kind of start from that same point. Here I can explore artists that are related to Pharrell. So I can see his influences, artists that were influenced by him, and learn more about each of those. One thing that's different about Rune is that no matter where you are in the user interface, everything you see is a link. The idea is that Rune encourages you to explore, to explore the artists that you're familiar with and their material, but then also to branch out and make new discoveries. So if I click through to Prince, I can read his biography, but I can also link out to genres, for example. So I could go to R&B. Now I'm looking at the world of R&B through the lens of my library. Here are the albums I have, some artists that I have, new releases in the context of R&B, some recommendations, and I can drill down into subgenres. So from R&B, I could go to Soul, for example. Now from Soul, I could click through to Motown. And in less than the time that it's taken me to search for one contemporary song and play it, I'm now exploring classic Motown albums. So that was an example with a contemporary artist. If we look at someone more classic with a longer discography, for example, Miles Davis, we can see some other interesting things. In addition to the recommendations and collaborations that we saw with Pharrell, under Miles, we'll also see sort of a retrospective view of Miles in his prime. Now, he had a very, very long discography, but what Rune is saying here is, is that if you're starting out with Miles, this period from 1957 to 68 is probably a good place to start. So what Rune does here is it takes the album from that period and puts them on a timeline so you can see how they fit into the context of the rest of his discography. So I can browse these albums here with a little bit of a description of each, and then click through to explore the album that I'm looking for. Classical music comes with its own set of unique challenges. Notably that it doesn't fall into the same sort of data structure that contemporary music does, artist and album and track. Um, with classical music, you'll most often want to start with a composer. So if I go back here to our streaming app and I do a search for Beethoven, for example, you'll see I get a view of Beethoven where there are some popular tracks and a discography and featuring and also like. But of course, Beethoven didn't actually have any albums, so this doesn't really make sense. If we look in Rune, we get a view of Beethoven as a composer. So what you'll see here is, again, a biography, 
where and when he was born and died. We'll see some albums from my library that feature works by Beethoven, but rather than focusing on albums, Rune shows you the compositions that Beethoven created. So what Rune has done here is notice that looking at all the works that Beethoven composed, the forms he's best known for are symphony, concerto, sonata, and string quartet. So you can see those four forms are listed here, along with the most popular works in each form. So I can click through to the Ninth Symphony, and here what we're looking at is a page that describes the work itself. Not a recording, um, but the work, the movements that make it up, its period, instrumentation, form, and a description of the work and how it fits into Beethoven's repertoire. Here you can see top conductors, not across all of classical music, but just of this specific work, so those who are best known for conducting it. And if I scroll down a bit further, we can see all the recordings that are available of the Ninth Symphony um, across Tidal and Cobas. As it turns out, there are 202 recordings available of this work. Um, so in order to be able to figure out where to begin, by default, Rune will sort these recordings in the order of popularity from our own listeners. If you'd like to explore these recordings in more detail, we can use this feature here called Focus. This lets us filter the 202 recordings that are available based on any of the metadata about them. So for example, I could look for recordings performed by the Berlin Philharmoniker and conducted by Herbert von Karajan. And here we're looking at those four recordings, where and when they were recorded, who the soloists were, and so on. This is something that simply wouldn't be possible using most streaming services or file-based players. The same data that drives our classical features actually works for contemporary music as well. If we take a look at Bob Dylan and choose an album, let's say Blood on the Tracks, what we'll see here is the track listing, and for each of these tracks, Rune has identified other recordings of that song. So if I go to Tangled Up in Blue, here I'll see all 76 recordings by Bob Dylan, as well as covers by other artists. For artists who are prolific songwriters, Rune will actually identify all the covers of songs by a particular artist. So far we've been talking about how, from a simple search, Rune makes it easy for you to explore and discover music. Everything you see in Rune is tailored to you based on the contents of your music library and your listening history. Here on the home screen, you'll see information about your music library, the albums and artists that you've added and played recently, new releases that are tailored for you based on what you've been listening to, daily mixes, you'll get six of these every day based on artists in your music library. You'll be able to see your recent listening habits, your favorite genres, artists, and albums. And Rune is constantly making recommendations, genres, artists, and surfacing insights from the artists in your library. Everything you see here is customized for you based on your library and your listening habits. Everyone will have a completely unique experience. While Room presents you with all kinds of ways to go on journeys of discovery, maybe the simplest way to enjoy it is just to play a single track and lean back and let Room pick the music for you. Room Radio looks at what you're listening to, whether you picked a single track, a whole album, or even a symphony, and will keep playing you music based not only on your own preferences, but on what it's learned from all Rune users. If you'd like to learn more, check out our other videos or head over to our website at runelabs.com.